Most fables and stories are centered around a hero. This one is about a villain. Actually, it's about two villains. I don't think the contractors are going to bring this in on time. Let's get a more realistic appraisal of the time frame. I don't want to risk losing a government contract. Also, I need you to call... Mrs. Mendelssohn's office? Oh. I guess it's not this phone. I'll take this call privately, Stacy. Why don't you go take your lunch break? Hello? Alles ist gut gelaufen. Did you get the cell phones? Ja, alle drei. You're worth every penny, Mr. Wolfgang. Ich kann die Informationen hier verwenden, um sie zu verfolgen. Ich halte Sie über meine Fortschritte informiert. Denken Sie daran, das Telefon zu entsorgen. Hi. Um, I didn't mean to eavesdrop. Do you need a translator? I can also speak English. Oh, good. So I just looked right here at your x-ray and uh, you have a very serious fracture on one of your ribs. It's a very precise impact. How did this happen? I fell. Are you alone? It is dangerous to be wandering around at night. Smoking is a lot more dangerous than wandering. You're right. I'm gonna quit as soon as I'm done with this one. Besides, I'm not wandering. I'm escaping. Escape? I have my reasons. Now are you going to give me a ride or not? Not. Why not? I don't even know you. What if you turn out to be a bandit or a kidnapper? I'm just a kid. Well, where do you need to go anyways? Someplace important. My life depends on it. Maria, I've been looking everywhere for you. What are you doing out here? Trying to get a ride. Can you please take her inside? Thank you. Can you give me a cigarette? What is it? Just give me a cigarette. I almost had a heart attack over here. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. So what's up with the little escape artist? She's been living in and out of hospitals her whole life. So she tries to escape every now and then. Says she has to go to some special place. You know how kids are. 
special place? I don't know. All I know is that life is unfair. You have this sweet little girl who's chronically ill. And you have murderers running around who are in perfect health. I've already told you I'm only here to placate my family. They need to think that I'm taking steps to deal with the loss. And knowing that I'm seeing a psychiatrist makes them feel better. But I am in no way ready to talk about my grandson. Facing his death will help you move on and have a productive life. It's important for your state of mind that we face this head on. That's what I'm here to help you deal with. I dealt with my husband's death three years ago. And I stayed strong for myself and for my family. It was difficult, but I managed. Because that's life. That's nature. Almost every wife has to deal with that at some point. But losing my grandson... Watching my daughter suffer unspeakably at the loss of her little boy. That's not nature. That's not how things are supposed to go. And if it wasn't for those miserable bastards He'd still be alive. Do you know what I was doing when my daughter called to tell me? No. I was putting in a place set for him in my backyard. When that phone rang, I had no idea of the kind of news that I would receive. I honestly didn't know that. That that kind of pain existed. It's the, it's the deepest, darkest pain. And it's all because of those filthy animals. God, don't you dare ask me how that makes me feel. I swear to God. If you ask me one more time how something makes me feel... I don't need to ask. I can already see what you're feeling. I see a lot of grief, but what I see the most is anger. You seem to be fixated on your hatred for the killers. That shouldn't be your focus. It's kind of hard to ignore, Doctor. And what do you think you're going to achieve by giving these men so much of your thoughts and energy? Oh, I can't achieve anything. I can't put on a cape and go out and fight crime. I'm just a little old grandmother. Or rather, I used to be. As this is his first attempt at being kind, he's understandably nervous. What will she think? Will she be able to tell that he's a killer? Only one way to find out. I didn't want to say anything last time, but you kind of talk like a robot. I've been told. So what are you doing here? I just wanted to see how you are. I'm sick every day, so... Isn't it better for you here? Why did you want to escape? Because we're in Reading. Where? Don't you know where we are? I was a few hours away. And I was just driving to the nearest hospital. Here.
Reading has all the funnest places, but I've never been able to go. Have you always been sick? I was born sick. I see. I'd rather have a short life out there than a long life in here. Have you ever asked your parents about... I don't have any. I'm alone. I'm a ward of the state of California. I wish I could help you. Why? I have a good reason, but you're too young to understand. If you're serious about helping me, then get me out of here. And so, this somewhat odd and technically illegal friendship has begun. Have a good day with your daughter, Mr. Hernandez. Thank you. Just be sure to have her back by six so we can administer her treatments. Of course. Goodbye, Maria. Hi. I can't sit in the front. What's your name anyway? Wolfgang. Wolfgang, why are you being so nice to me? Ask me some other time. Do you have a shop? Just seat? get in the car. Welcome, how can I help you? We need a tour guide. Sure, the next tour starts in... We need a tour guide to show us around Reading. I'll pay you $500. Oh, um, you actually don't need a tour guide for the attractions in Reading. Most of them are... I'll pay you $1,000 for the day. What? Here's the first 500 I'm going to get the rest. Please show around. Mm -hmm. So your dad seems pretty serious about having you see the sights, huh? His name is Wolfgang and he's not my dad. I see. But he is serious. I've actually never seen him smile. Oh no, I just meant that he's serious about showing you a good time. 
I mean, even hiring me as a tour guide, it's nice. It just seems a little extreme. Who are you and why are you following me? The main question is, will the little girl be safe in Wolfgang's presence? I mean, look at this. Being attacked by a stalker is kind of normal for him. You know, if you guys want to see a lot of sights, we should really get going. Do you have any idea where Wolfgang is parked? Yeah, we might have met this. All right, let's go see if we can find him. There you are. What happened to you? Are you okay? I fell. But I'm fine. I have the rest of the money in the car. Let's get going. Shouldn't we get you to a hospital? Thanks. Okay. So let me know what you guys want to do. As you know, Reading has a ton of fun things to do. I'm sure that's why we came here. So we have a huge water slide park. We have a trampoline park. We have a casino. We have volcanoes, rivers, lakes, caverns, waterfalls, hot springs. Um, let's see, you guys could go camping. You could go river rafting. You could go jet boating or mountain biking or fishing, skiing, sailing. We have houseboats and cabins and tours of historical places. So just let me know what sounds fun. The list goes on. I want to do them all. Then we do them all. Boyfriend? No, 
I'm just showing him and his daughter around town. I already told you he's not my dad. Is he married? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna just go on the water slide. Oh my. <laughs> And it's just beginning. If this is going to be her big day, he's going to make sure it's a great day. But why? Why is he doing this? Who's he doing it for? Her or him? And most importantly, what is he becoming?
This is a request from the Public Relations Office. They say it's good for the company's image to have our most successful businesswoman sign the Freedom of the Nipples petition. Petition for what? It's a gender equality issue to empower women. I was reading up on it. Can you believe that women have to cover themselves in public while breastfeeding, but men can take their shirts off in public? Serious inequality. Man, that's tragic. Do you know that in India, children work in filthy factories just to keep from starving to death? Do you know in Africa, soldiers with AIDS and other diseases rape little girls on a regular basis? In Southeast Asia, children are displayed in the windows of brothels to be used for sex. And right here in the United States of America, children are sold as sex slaves. I'm not talking about runaway teenagers turning to prostitution. I'm talking about little children held by force. I didn't know, but I mean- So if I'm gonna put my time towards trying to make this world a better place, what should I do? Save the children? Or should I focus on boobs? Well, we can do both. Stacy, we're only human. We only have so many hours in the day to devote to causes. You have a point. But if everyone thought that way, we wouldn't ever get anything done. The gender equality issue is serious dear, and it's- You say they're interested in me signing this petition because I'm a successful businesswoman, is that right? Yes. I didn't become successful by complaining for things to be easier. I worked hard in spite of the inequalities. If you've got a mountain in front of you, you work hard to climb it. You don't petition for the mountain to be leveled so that you can easily walk across. Yes, ma'am. To be succinct, when every single child in this world is safe from harm, then, and only then, Will I worry about giving more rights to lazy, entitled Americans with frivolous causes? Is that clear? Yes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a call to make. Stacy, I don't mean to seem so harsh. It's nothing to do with you. See, my life was destroyed by a random act of street violence. I know about your grandson. He was only three years old. I understand. Hallo? Did you get the information from the cell phones yet? Ja, und wir haben einen neuen Mitspieler. Ich wurde vom unbekannten Angreifer verfolgt. Followed you? Did you kill him? Nein. Ich war an einem öffentlichen Platz. Ich habe morgen mehr Informationen für Sie. So Maria tells me that you're not her father. She said that you're just a stranger who's being generous with her. 
Correct. So you just decided to make another stranger's problems your own? Yes. Why? You don't know anything about the movie business, but I do. I even have a guy in LA who says he can put up the rest of the money for us. But he's serious. And he says he can get DiCaprio to do a cameo in the film for us. All right? Just think about it and get back to me, okay? All right, bye. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't pick you up from work, babe. I had to take care of some business. It's okay. Needed the exercise anyway. I paid rent. We're finally caught up. How? I got a gig as a tour guide for a little girl. That's perfect. Just remember I had to get that plane ticket to Iowa. Where? The Ottumwa Iowa Film Festival. I accepted my short film. Nick, that was our grocery money. I gotta get out there. Gotta get on that red carpet and make myself known. Isn't Ottumwa a really small town in Iowa? What makes you think they're even gonna have a red carpet? Even if they don't, I'll get a picture in front of the theater. Either way, I need to boost my social media status by showing that I'm out there with my film. And did you buy new clothes? Just a couple of outfits for the pictures. Great, and I get used clothes from thrift stores. I thought you liked thrift stores. Besides, I need to build up my self-confidence. I feel like I don't even know who I am anymore. All I am is Nick's girlfriend. I don't have an identity. I don't have any aspirations. I've just made all your dreams my own because I've forgotten who I'm supposed to be. Where's all this coming from? I saw something today. Something that made all of this, that made you and me just seem ridiculous and self-centered. I am not self-centered. I saw a random act of kindness from one stranger to another. It was pure. I haven't seen anything like that since my dad died. Your dad, uh, wasn't he a priest or something? He was a pastor. <laughs> Same thing. Just another holy man trying to oppress the masses with ignorance. He was a selfless man. Sure, he was a great babe, but weren't you the one who's always telling me he was just trying to manipulate you all the time? I guess so. Didn't he want you to be some, like, 50s homemaker or something? No. He wanted me to be a princess. So misogynistic. Just sounds like another way to dominate women. No. That's how those people are. No, it wasn't like that. He treated me like a princess. He wanted me to be happy. And I was so happy. Oh, you mean spoiled. No, not spoiled. He made me work. He taught me that princesses were kind and selfless. And we donated our time to helping those who were less fortunate. Well, if he's so great, then why are you always complaining about him? Because I was angry at him for leaving me. I was just a 
stupid teenager who rebelled against everything that he taught me. It was a mistake. But you're always telling me that all he ever did was try to brainwash you into being... Into being what? Into being kind and selfless? Is that wrong? Is that uncool or something? I mean, is our life here any more noble? But why are you trying to turn this back around on me? It's not my fault he had a heart attack. And frankly, I find it offensive that you're making me pay for the fact that he filled your head with such nonsense. <laughs> Do you want to know another silly thing that he told me? He told me that one day I would meet a man who would fall deeply in love with me. So desperately in love with me that he would want to marry me because he couldn't imagine his life without me. Well, that didn't happen with us because we don't live in a fairy tale, Elise. This is the real world. No. No, this is my world now. And if you want to live in my silly fairy tale, you're going to have to ride in like a hero. After the fun, after masquerading as an altruist of sorts, it's time to go back to his world, to the smell of gunpowder, the deafening bangs, to the blood and the pain. This is what happens when you come into work on a Sunday. daughter? She's hot. Just take what you want and get the hell out of here. What we want isn't here. What? We want the safe. The safe that's at your house? We know all about it. Now we have your address. If you touch my family, I'll kill you. No, actually, we'll kill you. Those security cameras, they're recording all of this. In the morning, the tapes will be reviewed, and this will all be on there. That's why we're wearing masks. We thought this whole thing out. My friend here is gonna drive over to your house. No! Let me finish. He's gonna go over to your house. You're gonna call them, your daughter, your wife, whoever's home, and tell them to calmly let him in and open the safe for him. That won't work. They don't have the combination. But you do. That's why God created phones. You can call them. Keep them calm. Tell them that everything's going to be okay if they follow our instructions. I won't do it. Well, in that case, my friend is going to go over to your house and torture whoever's home. And you'll have his phone on so you can hear every agonizing scream. Why are you doing this? We want your money. Maybe your daughter. You see, we have your address, so this is going to happen one way or the other. No, please. 
Don't. Okie dokie then. He'll call us when he gets there. that I won't kill you. I just need to know where your friend is. I'll tell you anything, man, but just don't kill me. Where is James Thompson? You want Jimmy? That bastard? We have to give him to you, man. He, he stays with his girlfriend. Her name's Cherie. She lives on 23rd Street. Look, I, I got her number in my phone. I, I have his number too, man. Just, just call an ambulance, please. Show me your phone. Here, take it. Look, I, I can help you set him up, man. He, he owes me money. Ugh. Ugh. is dead. Now this one has to die. No, no, you, you said you wouldn't kill me. I won't. He will. You want me to kill him? Well, why, why? I... I've got it all on security cameras. I'll just call the cops. He'll go to jail. 
And so will I. For saving your life. You're wearing a mask. I won't say a word to anybody. Not good enough. You kill him with the cameras rolling? That way I know. You'll arrest the security footage. I've never done violence. Not like this. A small price to pay. There's gotta be another way around this. Either you do it, or I will kill both witnesses in this room. To his perfect little town, his new paradise, back to the lie, where he can pretend to be a good man. Hi Wolfgang. Hello, I'm back in Red Ink. Oh, I didn't even know you were gone. I had business, but I'm here now. Are you able to take Maria and I out on another tour through Reading? Well, I am actually out in the middle of nowhere right now, trying to accomplish what I'm sure is an impossible task. Um, but I'm free tomorrow. Impossible task? Uh, I mean, I'm exaggerating, but I am out in the middle of a field looking for a necklace that I lost, and I'll probably never find it. Um... Anyway, but I am free tomorrow, if you want to do that. Send me your coordinates via text, now. Um, okay. Hi! What's that? This is a metal detector. You have to find your necklace. You went out and bought a metal detector? Yes. Where shall I start looking? Well, I'm pretty sure it was around here, but it's been a few years. Understood. Did you really come out here just to help me? It seems that way. What is it that we are looking for exactly? Oh, it's a silver cross. It was my grandmother's. And she passed it down to my dad, who passed it down to me. And you lost it out here? After my dad died, I was really rebellious. And I just came out here one night and threw it as far as I could. I just wanted to be rid of it. Oh God, it was a family heirloom. I can't believe I was such an idiot. That's how teenagers are sometimes. Even before my dad died, we were really at odds. He was really old fashioned and everything he said to me just sounded so cheesy at the time. What is cheesy? <laughs> 
That is what we Americans say to make fun of something. <laughs> we call it cheesy. Your dad was a cheesy man? <laughs> well, like for example, he would tell me that I should be a proper princess. And that princesses never lie. And princesses are virtuous. And princesses never give up. I don't know. It just, it just sounded condescending to me when I was a teenager. Never give up. Your dad may have been right. It was. Thank you for helping me remember. It seems like you already had it on your mind. No. No, not only did I not have it on my mind, I had completely forgotten what he was trying to tell me. Which was? To be selfless and not selfish. And to remember my self-worth. Since he died, I've just given my virtue to men who haven't earned it and don't deserve me. I just feel like I've been a pathetic shell waiting for the real me to come back. And you helped me remember. You give me too much credit. No. You might not think it's a big deal, but your act of kindness towards Maria has started something wonderful. Hello, Herschel. How's my trusted accountant this evening? Yes, I did take $80,000 out of that account. I'm helping a sick friend. It's, it's really quite indiscreet, I'm afraid. As a matter of fact, I'm going to need to take a few more large withdrawals out of that account before it's all over with. This is a very private matter. I'll appreciate if you'd keep it that way. Good, thank you. Yeah. You've been lying to the nurses. You told them that you were Maria's dad. Yes. Her father, the real Mr. Hernandez, died four years ago in Iraq. That's too bad. What you did is illegal, you know. That's also too bad. So why'd you do it? I have my reasons. That's not good enough. 
she needs someone. I want to be that someone. Okay, you came back. I said I would. Well, can we go do some more fun stuff? It's up to her. Can we? As long as I come along to supervise. It's a date. Hey, well, thing. So I uh, got this car seat for you. <clears throat> hey, well, thing. So um. You know, I noticed you don't have a seat for Maria in your car, and um, oh, I was at the thrift store, and I just happened to see this, and you know, thought for safety, it'd be good to have it, and yeah, you know, I know you don't know about kids, so don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it, it's no problem. No, it's a gift, it's a gift. No, you're welcome. You got her a car seat? Oh, Wolfgang's just a big lug. He didn't know anything about child safety seats, so I bought it for her. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Jones Valley at Shasta Lake. Can I go on with you? Yeah, this is the Titan, and Wolfgang rented it just for you. Come on. Okay. I'm beautiful. I'm smart. I have a job. I'm a princess. I'm not intimidated by her. She's probably just a brainless bimbo. the hospital administrator. Oh, you're a hospital administrator. Yeah, I'm also a nurse practitioner. I'm just here to monitor Maria's condition. Great. Hey, look at this light. Wow, that is a nice slide. So do you like the hospital? It's perfect. Good. Um, well, I guess since your friend is here helping with Maria, you won't be meeting me. You want to leave? Um, no, it, it's not that. I just, I just figured you want to have private time with the nurse, so I don't want to get in the way. Stay. wonders how long he can keep this masquerade going. How long can
can he fool them? What if they look closely at him? Will they see who he really is? she's here. Me too. You know, I've actually been meaning to ask you, why is it that she needs to be hospitalized? You want to know her condition? Mm -hmm. Actually, even children have the privilege of patient confidentiality. Mm, right. I understand. Let's just say she requires medication that needs to be administered by a nurse every day and she needs to be checked by a doctor every day. But if you really want to know, you should just ask her. I'm sure she'll tell you. Somehow I think it's better if we don't even make her think about it. Let's just let her enjoy being happy. <laughs> What is this really? He's a murderer. Are these girls even safe with him? Is he forgetting who he is? And more importantly, does he want to?
Is it possible that a little girl's smile can be so pure, so powerful that it can change the heart of a grown man, the heart of a killer? Will he be making a change to his life or simply an addition to his life, an addition to bring balance? Killer on one side, altruist on the other. Maybe somewhere in between, he could be normal. to the hunt, back to the blood, and there will be blood this time. Using the phone from his last victim, he's finally found his quarry. We had a real good time with her. All because you stole from us. you either. Watching your woman burn to death. Well, that's payback. But watching you get eaten alive. That's just the truth. We brought you out here, don't you? This forest is crawling with wolves, mountain lions, and other animals with sharp teeth. And all they need to do is smell you. And I think this will do it. Shoot him.
Hello? The ones who killed your grandson? I got them. Are they alive? One is still alive. He's chained up and waiting for you. Does anyone know you are here? No. I followed your instructions to the letter. I hope so. I do like you, Mrs. Mendelssohn. I don't want to have to do anything unfortunate to you. You can trust me. I just can't. I can't believe we're really going through with this. I'm afraid I've allowed those criminals to turn me into a monster. Those who won't fight against evil are in league with evil. I salute you. High praise. Are you ready to meet him? Yes. It's really him. You have the wrong man. I don't even know what this is about. This is about you shooting a machine gun off in the middle of a neighborhood. Sixteen of your bullets entered my little baby grandson's room. One of those bullets killed him. Now I'm here to kill you. Ma'am, I don't know anything about your grandson. <sighs> I'm willing to face the law. Just call the police. Let them sort this out. The police? The police have already arrested you over a dozen times for other crimes. Every time they let you go. The police care more about the rights of murderers than protecting the public. They never even caught you for killing my little baby grandson. I'll bet they never solve your murder either. Look, your man killed two of my friends in cold blood here today. Let's not let this get out of control. You don't even have proof that I did this. Somebody recorded you doing it on their phone. They gave the footage to the police, but the police did nothing. There's no need to converse with this creature. I do not want you to lose your nerve. The only thing you have to worry about is whether or not you have the stomach to carry out my vengeance. I like your style. Ma'am, oh, please. Shooting him would be too merciful. Too quick. The pain you cause my daughter and me will last the rest of our lives. I think you'll suffer the rest of yours, however short it may be. That's perfect. Mr. Wolfgang, that's the worst thing I've ever heard. This isn't right. You 
want to see this. You don't want to see. No. They'll tear me apart. Come on. I can get a little too. Oh, God, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't. Don't do this to me. When the raccoons and the mountain lions start biting you, and they will. Think of me. You can't do this. You can't do this to me. Okay, guys. Thank you again for coming out here. So, as you guys may know, Redding is the second sunniest city in the whole United States, and it's the sunniest city in California. We also have the most fun attractions, right? <laughs> and so since we live in such a vacation paradise, I was thinking that I would like to take Wolfgang's lead. To help people? Yeah, that's what I would like to do. And Wolfgang, I don't want you paying for anything. Now that I'm not supporting my boyfriend anymore, I can take the three of us out and one person who's in need once a week. Is that why we're here? Mm-hmm. There's someone in that house who needs our help. Who? It's a little boy who is injured by a drunk driver. He's disabled now and he's lonely. He lost both his parents in the car accident and his grandma's too elderly to take him out in his wheelchair. So I was thinking that we could go take him out to do some fun activities and show him that he's not alone. Are you guys with me? Yes. Yes. You two go ahead, I'll be right there. Hello. You've given me closure, Mr. Wolfgang. You've also given me new purpose. How so? It felt good. Making the world safer by doing what we did. I agree. There's a lot of bad guys out there. So many children are falling victim to violent criminals. What do you want to do about it? Well, I've got the money. If you've got the bullets. Come on. 